great example. I, I was just thinking, is that road rage? Yes. I was just thinking of that example. You meet that every day and you have to make a choice as to how to respond to it. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just so ridiculous today, the way people drive. Yeah. 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 So you, I think, do most people here drive? Yeah. Great. Well, then, you know, you, you can go, go and field test this. <laughs> road rage is a great example because you can be in a you can be in a, in, a, in, a, in a great place and then all of a sudden somebody might cut you off or do something you know that, that you like I mean probably they shouldn't have done okay but the tempting thing is to beat the horn wave the fist give the finger start giving and start going nah, 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 okay the great test about this is that um, if you can hold back on it and I do it myself because I would have been a devil for beating the horn I love correcting people <laughs> especially out on the road I mean it's you know, and I suppose when I think about it logically, it's not my road. I don't own it. I didn't invent driving. You know, it's it's maybe what they did was okay. You know, nobody got hurt. Now, obviously, if somebody's coming to come into you and like you know take the the door off your car, obviously then beep and react. You know, but I'm talking about just minor stuff like somebody pulling out in front of you. You don't have you have the choice. You have the choice, everybody, of how you react to that, and you can choose. And most and I know it because I've done it. What you tend to do is that car is going to be in front of you then for a while and you're looking at in the mirror trying to catch their eyes and you're doing all this sort of stupid stuff and you want them to see how angry you are and make your point. It's ridiculous. Because you're carrying that with you now or yeah. driving that with you. You know, maybe for a couple of miles and that car is still in front of you and you're still, you're still going, mm, idiot, you know. And that's the thing. It's taking up headspace. It's an absolute yeah. Yeah. waste of time and it's not serving you yeah. at all. So it's a great way of testing. You know, are you are you engaging your your conscious mind? Because subconscious mind is already there, so it's to, it's to engage the conscious mind, and you know, start to take that millisecond to make choices, because you have choices. It can take a little bit longer sometimes. You know, like I give you an example. I cycle a lot, mm -hmm. and this woman cut right in front of me one day to reverse her car, and I had to go up onto the path to get out of her way. It was that close. Mm -hmm. And she berated me. She, uh, like that, and I, I cycled away, but it took me a few minutes. I did engage the conscious mind, and I started saying to myself, that woman has problems. Yeah. But it took a while to get, you know, because she really, like, was in the wrong, and then gave it, me the shit for it. Mm -hmm. But it took me a few minutes. I could feel the energy that it created in me, but, you know, I couldn't get rid of it in a millisecond. Well, fair, well it's the millisecond to engage, to actually oh, catch yeah. yourself. It's catching yourself, you know, because... You know, if, if, if this is down your subconscious mind, like, I mean, it's, it's coming right up and through you, you know, say, say, so it's just to catch it before it reaches, I suppose, yeah. maybe the verbal or, or the hands, the movement or whatever yeah. the case might be. So it's, 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 cause you know, you, you get angry. That's what it is like. I mean, it's a small little bit of rage and it yeah. tends to come up through you. So it's to catch it at that point, you know, where, where, you know, before you verbalize it or do anything. And the thing is, at the end of the day, can you be the bigger person? Yeah. Like in your case, Deirdre, you were the bigger person, you just yeah. went away. I mean, yeah. to somebody to flare up like that, mm. they definitely have stuff going on. Exactly, that was my thinking yeah. on. That's how I yeah. logic to, to myself. So you'd more pity her than you would any, you know, um, yeah. anything else. But, you know, again, good example. Mm. So moving on 